Yo, what is up, YouTube? We are back on the Madden 16. Time to talk some football. Check out the new team that we got in. Let's get into it. Now, first up, the Cowboys, Tony Roma, amazingly clutch drive to seal the deal, man. To be honest, I'm kind of surprised they didn't drop a 99 Romo, but we did get an Aaron Donald, a Marcus Mariota, Josh Dorman, Tyler Eifert, and a Chris Ivory in this set. Check out Mariota. Mariota killed it, man. And I'm so mad, too, because I had Mariota on my bench, but I didn't start him in fantasy. Check this beast stats out. 85 overall, 89 speed, 92 throw short, 93 throw mid, and 83 throw deep. Damn! Very good stats, probably comparable to Flashback Vic. I haven't used Flashback Vic yet, but I would imagine he might be comparable, man. His stats are pretty freaking nice. Josh Norman of the Panthers, 85 overall quarterback, 6 foot, 89 speed, 96 zone, 94 press, and 85 man. And then lastly, of course, Aaron Donald, 90 overall D tackle, 83 speed, 90 tackle, 91 block shed, 94 strength, and 75 cleric. Man, nasty stats, great block shed, great speed, big time speed, always has that. Pursuit's really good too, as well as power move. This is probably a beast in the run and the passing game. Now, quickly, here is a look at the week one upgraded cards. Got a James Jones, Aaron Williams, Alex Ogafer, and a Unani, U Umami, Unani, Unaga. I don't know. I just know he's a loser. That's all I know. I know he lost to the Cowboys last night. This guy actually had a crazy lucky pick, man. The Giants. They had some incredible bounces go the way. First and foremost, that freaking scoop and score by DRC. Crazy good bounce. Crazy good scoop and score. Romo didn't want no part of TRC with his taking it back. He did not try to stop DRC. Then, of course, Jason Witten and this Unga got Romo threw the ball behind Witten. Witten tipped it, and Unga just came and picked it off. That was actually a great play. This card looks nice, too. 6'188 speed, 86 hit power, 80 block shit, 89 tackle. Since he got a pick, how's his catch? 66 catch rating. This card actually isn't too bad, man. Big time speed, big time speed. And all right, there you have it. Those are the new Team of the Week cards for the week. Quickly, let's pull a few pro facts and continue to talk about last night's game. It was such a good game, man. Well, it, it was actually a hideous game to watch, but the ending was spectacular, especially if you're a Cowboys fan. Now, I will say this. I do agree that that DRC call on pass interference, that wasn't pass interference. I don't care what angle you looked at that call. That just wasn't pass interference, in my opinion. To me, that was a very, very bad call. Now, they said they called it because DRC touched his arm or touched his shoulder or something like that. But even then, man, I still think that was probably probably a terrible call in my opinion but even then with that ass call it was still a ton of football left to be played in that game so i don't think that one call just decided the game i mean ton of football left to be made and the giants had a chance to win the game they say eli manning told the running back don't try and score when, when they were running the ball inside the Cowboys goal line. The, the Giants were trying to milk it out as much as they could, so they didn't want to score with that running back. Then Eli Manning on that last play just threw it away, didn't take the sack, and then, you know, the drive happened. Tony Romo became Tony Romo, Jason Witten. We've been seeing this for the past few years. Probably still Romo's favorite target. Got open in the end zone, and that was pretty much all she wrote. Now, Dez did get injured. Dez Bryant's injury. I think the Cowboys are pretty deep at wide receiver. Terrence Williams, I like him. He looked bad last night, in my opinion. Had a few big drops. Cole Beasley had that big fumble scoop and score. That was a great play, too, by the Giants. That was a big fumble, though, but I think Cole Beasley's nice. Terrence Williams, nice. Everyone else, I think, is okay. Then Jason Witten and Gavin Escobar are pretty good receiving tight ends, too. So I think, I think the Cowboys' passing game should be okay. Now, speaking of the Cowboys' running game, everybody thought, oh, man, Cowboys let DeRocco Mary sign to the Eagles. Cowboys lost damn near 2,000 yards in offense, but last night, Cowboys put up 200 rushing yards. Now, I think the Cowboys played three running backs, but if the Cowboys can put up 200 rushing yards with three running backs, I will take it. I am not against that. Now, I will say this. DeMarco Murray, still a stud last year and still probably going to be a stud this year. And I still think he will be missed for sure because you just can't replicate what all he did. He was fast. He was strong. Fumbled the ball a little bit, but dude was a tank. Dude was a stud. I'm not going to disrespect him just because he signed to the Eagles. Hopefully, he has a good season with the Eagles, too. Doesn't mean my Cowboys, but hopefully... He has a good season with them. But once again, the Cowboys offensive line and the Cowboys run game didn't do too bad without DeMarco. Also, Earl Beckham. Everybody was like, Berg, Odo Beckham, gonna shred that Cowboys secondary. Odo Beckham got fucked up coming across the middle, baby. He got smashed coming across the middle. He was looking crazy out there, man. Cowboys secondary not playing that nonsense. Now, we did keep a safety on him the whole game, but he's Odo fucking Beckham. We should do that. The guy is a number one receiver, and we had him to, I think, probably less than maybe 50, maybe 100 yards. Played him pretty good, in my opinion. Now, another loss the Cowboys took was Randy Gregory, promising rookie, best pass rusher in the draft. He got injured just like Dez, gonna be out four to six weeks now. If the Cowboys can maintain and maybe pick up two or three more wins while Dez and Gregory, yeah, I think, I think when they come back, the Cowboys, I think the Cowboys are gonna have a hell of a run through the rest of the regular season, and I think they're gonna be poised to do some damage in the playoffs. Cause think about it, when Dez comes back and Gregory, we're also getting Greg Hardy back from suspension. Hey, man. 
Cowboys are coming this year, boys. Cowboys are coming. You guys know I'm kind of biased. But even from a football standpoint, the Cowboys are looking good, man. The Cowboys are looking good. I'm not going to lie to you. They're looking pretty good. Now, of course, tonight we got Eagles versus Falcons. That should be another good game. Honestly, man, who do I think is going to win? Uh, I kind of want to say the Falcons, right? On Twitter, I've been saying the Falcons. But in reality, I think the Eagles might get them. I think the Eagles might get him. I think Chip Kelly is a good coach. I think he's trying a lot of things out. They do have a lot of new pieces, but I think the Eagles might get him now. At the same time, the Falcons got a new head coach. It's all about defense. And if the Falcons can play defense this year, they might be a nasty team this year. But I think, I think the Eagles might best. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think, I think the Eagles might come out on the right end of this. We got Alex Okafor, left outside linebacker. Check out his stats. 81 speed, 92 excel, 83 tackle, 88 hit power, 79 block shed, and 78 play wreck. And all right, guys, I think we're about done with the packs, man. I got one more pack, and then I'm out of points, and I don't feel like wasting any more coins on packs. Overall, though, great Sunday of football. Tyrod Taylor and the Bills. Man, Tyrod Taylor look nice, boys. The Bills defense look nice. I think they say Manziel looked okay and then went back to looking like poop. Who else looked really good? Let me think. I didn't see too many games. I just saw the Bills and Cowboys game. So, so those are the only two games I can really talk about. But the Bills are nasty. McCoy still look good. A lot of people thought McCoy was on the downside of, of his career. But two years ago, he was the rushing champ. Last year, he got 1,300 yards. And once again, against the Colts, he didn't look too bad. Tyrod Taylor looked good. Peyton Manning didn't look too great, man. But... Some say his arm is weak. Who knows? That is to be, I guess, told throughout the rest of the season. But yeah, there you have it, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Eagles Falcons prediction. Put them in the comments if you want to. I'd love to see what you guys are thinking about that game. And I will see you guys in the next one. Gameplay coming out later today. Be on the lookout for that. We have a special guest or a special car debuting in that video. And I will see you guys in the next one, man. Take it easy. Peace.